So today I ordered a $20 mouse pad off of Amazon. It's one of the larger ones and I wanted a stitch den one because the heat press ones are just poorly made and don't last long. But when I got it, bruh. So here's the product, it's 20 bucks. Let's check out the reviews. Good quality mouse pad with medium speed, medium. So this one here sounds like an honest review. You can see in the left there, there's a little bit of that ruffle. Here's just another honest review. It's just ruffled all along. Then I found this beautiful, beautiful YouTube video, how to flatten your mouse pad. You're gonna need a flat surface. Do not use an ironing board. It is absolute sh in iron, a mouse pad and a pillowcase. Turn your iron to the highest setting. Open up your mouse pad, apply your pillowcase and iron. Now make sure you're applying a lot of pressure onto the edges to push the ruffles out. What I found also works is pushing from middle to side, kind of like pushing air bubbles out. Now your countless hours of practice in the high school bathroom will really come in hand here. So this method got some ruffles, but not all ruffles out. It is much better than what it was before. I don't know, maybe I need to add more time to the method. Maybe I need to hit the gym, who knows. So considering that the minimum wage is $15.50 per hour where I live, and we multiply it by the 15 minutes of work that I put in, and in total, that comes up to $3.88. The cost of the mouse pad after tax was $20.33. Adding those two totals together brings us to a final total of $24.21. This got me thinking, was it even worth it? So I took a look at the... What? Yeah, I'm good.